I would put money on the fact that the Valve Deckard will have eye tracking and it will rely heavily on eye tracking to increase performance uh, of the set top box. And it will also use that for, and this is the other thing, is that most likely because this is the Deckard is a standalone device, it will be able to run um, VR games on the headset itself. Now, how well it'll run those devices is sort of uh, up in the air because as we know, and as um, David Heaney on um, on the Upload VR podcast uh, or download, Upload VR, Upload VR podcast, uh, always reminds us is that there's no way you could get Half Life Alex running on a standalone chipset. It's just physically not possible. Sure. I would argue that um, you don't have to get the PC version running, but you could get a port running that is heavily optimized to run. And most likely, what will happen is they'll do the same thing that. Uh, that Oculus was doing for a while, which is that if you buy the standalone version, you get the PC version and vice versa. Sure. Which makes for great value. Yeah, like, that would definitely sweeten the, the deal for me. Yeah, because I, I'll, I'll be honest, the the $1,200, like if the headset is $1,200 and it's an Apple Vision Pro competitor, this is a day one purchase for me. Um, it being a Quest competitor, actually is a little bit less relevant to me as as a consumer but i also own a you know fifteen hundred dollar spec out gaming pc yeah um it's the set top box thing is where i'm a little curious but the last thing that is yeah. that that is the most curious and i think sword brings this all into uh clear vision is these controllers right here Ooh, those look like hair. so these these leaked. These are actually renders from a leak uh, that somebody rendered. So these these also right because the scene has some kind of like gun. yeah. So these are not the real controllers, but this is what the controllers are going to look like most likely. You can see it's got a D pad on the left side there. Yeah. So the heavy speculation by D pad. Yeah. Just to clarify, it's not the X Y A or B. It's the cross the plus sign. Sonics, which is the D plus sign, which has nothing to do with getting the grades. You're really breaking it down for us today, Sean. I thought I'd, you know, speak to some of our critics. Yeah, uh, move there. So some of the other speculation is that uh, the Deckard is also going to double as a Steam Deck for your face.